Okay. Um, explanation on some of the terms and of uh, some of the things that uh, I talk about in the videos and replies that I make. Um, Aqua Regia, AR. It's an ancient form of refining gold. It's uh, been known for thousands of years. Uh, the uh, textbook uh, recipe for aqua regia is uh, three parts hydrochloric acid and one part nitric acid. Um, I talk about poor man's AR. That's uh, hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrate. Um, there are certain companies <clears throat> that market this stuff and use a proprietary uh, name for the chemicals, uh, Sub-Zero. That's uh, a proprietary name for a very common chemical and it's uh, sold from a company that uh, wants you to um, pay the markup price from them for something that you can buy at just about any hardware store. Cheap. Uh, I pay about six dollars for a five pound bag of sodium nitrate. Um, I buy hydrochloric acid in the form of muriatic acid, muriatic acid, rather, from Lowe's. Um, for seven dollars and fifty cents a gallon. Uh, this is hydrochloric acid. It's twenty bomb degrees. Uh, it's the same as you're going to get from a chemical supply place. Um, I don't see why uh, spending more uh, for something that you can get elsewhere is 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 uh, cost effective. You know, you need to get the cheapest supplies you can. And get the most out of what you can do with it. Um, you you hear uh, you've heard me say SMB, sodium metabisulfite. Uh, this used to be very common. You could buy it at any grocery store. It's a food additive. People used it when they canned meat or when they canned soup. It's a food preservative. Um, uh, Mass-produced canned goods nowadays, uh, they don't sell it at the grocery store anymore. Uh, but it's still common. It's a commonly used uh, item in things like making wine. Wineries will have it. Uh, most chemical supply houses will have it. Um, a alternative to sodium metabisulfite is uh, sodium sulfite. Uh, a source of sodium sulfite is uh, Bonide brand stump remover. Sold at most hardware stores, sold at Ace Hardware. It is sodium sulfite. It works exactly the same. It will precipitate gold selectively. <clears throat> um, there are other chemicals and compounds that will precipitate gold selectively. Uh, I like using SMB. Um, you can use sulfur dioxide gas by itself. Um, you can buy the gas in, in bottles like you like you do oxygen or acetylene. Sulfur dioxide gas uh, is used by a lot of refiners uh, to precipitate gold. It leaves no salts behind. Oxalic acid uh, uh, will uh, precipitate
precipitate gold. <clears throat> Oxalic acid precipitates gold in metallic form um, and leaves the gold looking like gold. Uh, sodium metabisulfite drops gold. It looks like a tan powder. Oxalic acid drops gold crystals and it reflects the gold light. So it looks like gold when it drops. Um, there's uh, ferrous sulfate or cuprous. Uh, cuprous is a, a brown crystal. It's uh, formed by dissolving iron in diluted sulfuric acid and uh, then <coughs> excuse me evaporating the acid down and leaving just the crystals. This selectively precipitate gold. <coughs> um, uh, you've heard me talk about uh, hydrochloric chlorine to dissolve gold oils. Uh, this is um, hydrochloric acid, uric acid, and household bleach. Uh, be warned, uh, this evolves chlorine gas, which is um, highly toxic. Um, it doesn't cause long lasting effects, but it can asphyxiate and it does cause pulmonary edema. Uh, it, uh, it's a corrosive gas and it should not be inhaled. Um, chlorine gas uh, can be filtered through a good respirator. Um, I suggest uh, getting a, a, a respirator that filters organics, uh, organic acids, um, and it, it works good against chlorine. Um, also, if you're going to do this, and it's going to be something that you plan on doing for some time, and, and uh, I recommend that you invest in a fume hood. Uh, it can save your life literally. Um, the cumulative effects of breathing these chemicals and, and the byproducts off of them can cause irreparable damage to your lungs. And it's it builds over time and it, it only gets worse. It never gets any better. Um, if you've noticed me clearing my throat a lot and coughing quite a bit, um, I have COPD. Um, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Uh, most of this is caused by exposure to chemicals over, over the past 20 years. So I'm speaking first hand knowledge of the effects of this stuff and what it does to you. Um, I, I don't want anyone out there to do the things that I did and because uh, most of the stuff that I've done, I've done when I was young and inexperienced and I thought I would live forever. And, uh, you know, I wound up hurting myself because here I am now at the age that I am now and I, I can't breathe very well. And it's something that I did to myself. I don't have anyone else to blame but myself. And uh, I can't stress safety enough. Please be safe. Please do everything that you can do to protect yourself and the people around you. Don't endanger yourself. Don't endanger your family. Do not process anything inside your home. You don't want it in your living space. Don't process in your garage. If you value your car, uh, anything metal within your garage, your tools, uh, your electrical wiring, don't process in your garage. Um, if you work in a shed out back, uh, be warned. Your 
metal shed's not going to last long. If you process in a wooden shed, uh, be very careful. Nitrates soak into wood and makes it combustible and even explosive. So, uh, nitrates and cellulites, cellulose especially, uh, is an explosive combination. So, uh, be careful. Uh, make a fume hood. Use a scrubber. Fume scrubbers are easily built and they're maintained. Whatever you do, be safe. Uh, I'll try to do more uh, tutorials. Uh, I, I don't claim to know everything about it, uh, but I do know enough to um, to, uh, to to be safe. And uh, I would like to help as many people with this stuff as I can. I didn't have anyone to help me. I didn't have the internet when I when I first began doing this, so I had no other source but books and my own trial and error. And hopefully, uh, through this medium, I can help other people, and, and hopefully, someone won't make the same mistakes I made. So be safe.